How do muscular dystrophies impair muscle function? Muscular dystrophies are a group of genetic disorders characterized by the progressive weakening and wasting of muscles. They primarily affect the muscles that control movement, leading to impaired muscle function. To understand how muscular dystrophies impair muscle function, let's explore the underlying mechanisms and factors involved. Genetic mutation Muscular dystrophies result from mutations in specific genes that are responsible for the production of proteins essential for muscle structure and function. The most well-known muscular dystrophy is Duchenne muscular dystrophy, DMD, caused by mutations in the dystrophin gene. Dystrophin is a protein that helps maintain the structural integrity of muscle fibers. Muscle fiber damage in individuals with muscular dystrophy, the absence or abnormality of the essential proteins leads to increased vulnerability of muscle fibers to damage. During muscle contraction and relaxation, mechanical stress is exerted on the muscle fibers. Without the proper protein support, the fibers become susceptible to damage and degeneration. Inflammation and immune response Muscle damage triggers an inflammatory response, where immune cells infiltrate the affected area. This inflammatory response aims to repair the damaged muscle fibers. However, in muscular dystrophies, the continuous cycle of muscle degeneration and regeneration leads to chronic inflammation. Prolonged inflammation can further damage muscle fibers and impair their function. Fibrosis and connective tissue replacement As the muscle fibers degenerate and undergo continuous cycles of damage and repair, the normal muscle tissue is replaced by fibrotic or scar tissue. The deposition of excess connective tissue disrupts the normal arrangement of muscle fibers, leading to further impairment of muscle function. Fibrosis also reduces the elasticity and flexibility of the affected muscles. Muscle weakness and atrophy As the disease progresses, the damaged muscle fibers are gradually replaced by fat and connective tissue, resulting in muscle weakness and atrophy. The reduction in the number and size of functional muscle fibers leads to a decline in muscle strength and overall muscle function. Loss of motor control Muscular dystrophies primarily affect the muscles involved in movement and motor control. As the disease progresses, the weakening and wasting of muscles make it increasingly difficult for individuals to control their movements. This loss of motor control affects various aspects of daily life, including walking, standing, and performing simple tasks. Respiratory and cardiac impairment In some forms of muscular dystrophy, such as DMD, the weakening of muscles extends to the muscles involved in breathing, respiratory muscles, and the heart, cardiac muscles. Respiratory muscles become progressively weaker, leading to respiratory insufficiency and the need for respiratory support. Similarly, the weakening of cardiac muscles can result in cardiomyopathy and heart failure. It's important to note that the severity and progression of muscle impairment can vary among different types of muscular dystrophies. However, the underlying mechanisms described above provide a general understanding of how these disorders impair muscle function. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.